back to pages and we can click on our home page and we can click edit with Elementor. That should launch Elementor, then click add template and instead of pre-designed templates, click on my templates and they should all be there. And now we're just going to insert them. So we're going to insert V1 and bam, it's there. And we're going to add template and we're going to go to my templates and we're going to insert P4. There it is. And add template, go to my templates, insert Q4, pretty cool. Add templates, my templates insert q1 and we got one more so go to add templates my templates and insert q3 all right so i think that is the new and improved way of creating a website i think it makes it much better you could combine all these different templates all these different sections into so many different combinations to get your website looking exactly like you want and not insert this entire page where there's a bunch of things that you don't really want so you have to delete them all. So I think it is much better and I hope you're as excited about it as I am. It'll make my job much easier building websites for people. I know that. All right, now we can edit the page. So what I'm gonna do is just click on this bike tour over here and I don't want it. So I'm gonna go over to the pencil and I'm going to exit out of there. And there's a little space right here and you can make this space bigger or smaller if you want, but I don't need a space here. So I'm just gonna exit out of that one too. And then I'm going to click on the title and I'm going to change it over here. I'm going to type in love what you do. And for this bottom text here, I'm going to change it and I'm going to add in some text. Create a website and start your business so you can do what you really love. All right, then I'm going to click on the button and I'm going to link it somewhere else. So I'm going to link it to forward slash about. So when someone clicks on it, it's gonna to go to yourwebsite.com forward slash about. And I hope that's where your about page lives. If not, you have to change that link to maybe forward slash about dash me or whatever your about page is named. All you have to do to get that name is to visit your about page and whatever it says up on top in the URL field, that is the name. So just copy the forward slash about, forward slash about dash us, forward slash about dash me, or whatever it is. All right, so that will link to that page. And now to change the button style, just click on style. And we can scroll down and we can change the background color. So maybe I want the background color to be transparent. So you can make it go all the way down to transparent. And that will make the button see-through which is a cool effect, but you can't really see it. So let's add a border to it. So under border type, we can choose the drop down. We can go to solid and add in a width. I'm just gonna put two, so it's two pixels wide. And now we can see that see through button, which is really awesome. All right, and now maybe we wanna change the love what you do font. So all we have to do is